All right, what's up, y'all? Listen, I had like a little bit of time today. Sorry, my voice is all chopped and screwed. I'm in between like having a cold, getting the kids legit, and then like the germs just cycling around. So either way, <clears throat> this is what I'm sounding like. But I had a little bit of time today, and I had to get on here because I ain't chopped it up with y'all in a while. One, two. When Spirit was talking to us about that 555 being, like, a done thing and walking into, like, the new thing, like, <laughs> wasn't playing, okay? Um, looking like, fucked around and found out for real in the best of ways, yeah? Um, <clears throat> spaceship is what's coming through right now. Y'all already know in my head, if I'm thinking the spaceship, of course we thinking outlandish. We going somewhere outside of what's become your, you know... Your, your gravitational pull, if you will. The thing that keeps you home close to comfort. You feel me? Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> spirit has elevated a thing. Uh-huh. Uh, spirit said, let me interject. <laughs> <clears throat> Going out. Uh-huh. But Spirit said, forget not. That means elevation. Because I'm taking you, right, to a whole nother altitude here. You need me to exist here, right? Like, you, you got to tap into to your divine, divine, for real, because you elevating for real. So, spaceship is the card that's out here on the board first. So, Spirit want us to make mention of that. We got the mermaids out here. We got 43, which is the number seven. The spaceship card. <clears throat> first of all, you got mermaids. Okay, I think in one of the readings these past maybe four max readings ago, we had this card come out. We got these. We got the musical notes that is surrounding them. We can actually see the rocket. They're they're mermaids though. <clears throat> but we talk a spaceship, water, where like what is actually going on? It says, "Don't be afraid to sing." You got the mermaids in a place that's seemingly not where they belong. Spirit said, "Come on, <laughs> we're going on a trip." <laughs> Favorite rocket ship. Why? <laughs> The little Einsteins, right? Like, like, like the very smartest of of who you are, right? I'm digging at a place that, like, many called few chosen. Like, everybody ain't genius status walking around. Little Einstein, right? Seemingly not supposed to know how you little beings got all this knowledge, yeah. When in reality, they really the closest to the divine. Why wouldn't they be the wisest? It's a matter of those who think they wise being able to integrate this wisdom into something that's close to on high so that you can really understand what is being said, done, even if not to your tangible ways of bringing in information and the output thereof, yeah? <clears throat> Spirit said something seemingly out of place. <laughs> but it's right where you belong. Spirit say we in like this motion of frequency elevating you into a space of that seven energy that something here is complete. But y'all know that that seven is the one that says it's not just like a, a, a conclusion and done. It means it's a completion of this part of a lesson of this part of a thing because I'm spaceship energy now i got somewhere to go spirit said it's time to move spaceship is elevating rocket is taking off there's like a a small glow of the moon here coming through right through the smoky the fog through the night through the distant air universes still right we on a spaceship through all these see these three still holding hands that's like a braid that braid energy I could see the, the literary ancestor deck, the literary women ancestor deck, where the braid is all about family, the bond of a thing, the binding in the good way in this moment, yeah? That throughout whatever phases, say spirit, you still held it down. We still been holding it down for you. See, the three is here, right? Because there's three of these mermaids here. Mind, body, spirit. We talking. We talking the real holy trinity. Yeah. 
mind, my body, my spirit. The wholeness of me. Yeah? Say, don't be afraid to sing. That's the spaceship car. I'm, I'm, I'm elevating. I'm, I'm putting you on the spaceship because we're going somewhere where, where the lessons and the glory is going to rest. Where you're able to, to sing. And hear your praises be sung, say spirit. Come through Zion. Come on now. Can I tell y'all that spirit woke me up to wake y'all up just to douse somebody with the glory that divine is tossing on to us right now? I thought maybe took a little break and now I'm back. Maybe there's something we need to be looking, learning or something. Spirit said, nah, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. <laughs> you thought I was done? You thought I was done? Spirit said, you've done it. Spirit say you've done a thing, somebody, somewhere. You've done a thing. Do you understand? Come on, yeah. That's card number one. <clears throat> That's seven. When I was shuffling the deck, these are just preface cards, and then I'll, I'll, I'll shuffle it and go with y'all, all right? Six minutes in, I ain't said hello to those of you that are new. Because I have seen some new people subscribe. What's up? This is how I get down. I'm on here because Spirit lead me on here. So it's not out of disrespect or that we like hospitality around here. I know you can feel the love already because that's what Spirit come to do. Okay, so I get into the work of what I'm here to do. But um, for the sake of hellos, I'm Ashes the Rebirth. I just kind of locked in and tuned into myself because... I'm moving, shifting to the new card, which is 32, which is going to be 5, which is the number of shifting for us in this period of time and lesson in what Spirit has been teaching us thus far. So we got the escapist card. Come home to yourself. Don't be afraid to sing. Come home to yourself, right? Come home to yourself, meaning wherever it is that you find in yourself, want your natural space, even though this look out of line, this is where you was made to be. Come on now, spirit, come through, the escapist. I am the mighty alchemist after all, but somebody had forgotten along the trajectory of this journey, and that's what spirit had woke up, right? This past year, these past couple of months, showing us how much we've grown, where we've come to, while we're worthy of the bounty that spirit is, is trying to douse us with even now in this moment, Yeah. Time to come home to yourself, say spirit. You can put in the word. We shift into a thing. Elevating into a thing. You understand? Shifting. 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 I'm going to pull one of these uh, <clears throat> divine feminine energy, the cycle cards, the sacred cycle. It feel more like I'm asking spirit what cycle is ending. Um, I'll see what spirit says. But I, I, that's how I'm asking it or how I hear it in my head. Um being prompted unto spirit, I'll say, yeah? Because this is all about the lining up with the self, you see? There's a place you're called to be. Curtains closed on one thing because they're opening somewhere else. This isn't one door closing, another one open. This is one curtain Closing another one, opening like you facing this way. That's the wrong crowd, wrong curtain. You you thinking it was that way? You in the right building? You in the right spot? You just got to turn around, literally. That six energy. Uh huh. And Mr. James Baldwin for the past year has been talking to us about maybe even longer, putting us on game about can we? The whole paradigm shift, the perspective shift. What have we been doing? What have we been learning? So, so we sit and come now, come now, come now. Hands together, come now, come now, come now. Let's think about all this. Yeah, things are shifting now. Turn around now. You can see so much more clear now. Here you are with, 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 with looking at a curtain that is seemingly closed. You can't find your way through. And if it does peek a little bit, it don't even look like nobody through there is on your team. All you got to do is turn around. That's what Spirit been showing us all along. You ain't in the wrong place. You ain't got to wait for such and such and such and such to get they shit together, yo. Spirit said no. Turn the fuck around. 
You know what's so crazy about that on the road for real? I hate backtracking. But right now, that energy of it's not backtracking, it's just turn around. So it might feel like something that you don't really, you know, outside of that comfort zone, right? The idea that I don't, I don't like the idea of backtrack, but like turn around. If the glory, we're not talking where spirit left you. We already got that lesson. I'm not even playing with that. We're not going back there. This message is for those that, that, that are here in this space. This is who spirit talking to. So ain't got be no doing a whole bunch of extra diluting to make it clear because y'all be mindful when spirit had me leave take that break and then come back spirit said that was a closing of a chapter it's gonna be some shit that is forbidden to the ears even if you think you listening here because a message ain't for you or because it's gonna be misinterpreted misused spirit says it's a time for an ending of a thing Things. Uh huh. Into. I hear spirits say brokenness is shattered. Okay. And we got. And we got butterfly. Like, yeah, literally. It's no longer in the chrysalis form anymore. It's, it's not tucked away. And didn't I say in like maybe the past two, three re readings ago, maybe several times, Spirit said that love come through the room. Love say, I come to make my boast. I ain't come to be humble. Sit down where I come to stand proud. I come to stand tall. I come to stand wide. I, I, I run all of this. Spirit of love say, I run all of this be it as it may that blood right there hmm the source of the existence here ceased to exist what's there for life to filtrate any of that for you whereas the orchestration of keeping that all in its place just so for you like I somebody's escapist energy that come home to yourself is tapping into the fact that you are almighty power somebody you are creator somebody <clears throat> and let me say this because i can hear this loud and clear it is more than creator on your job on your human tangible existence spirits say escapist for real like you you you, you we even the cards that are out here we got the african goddess deck we got the princess deck it is all things very mm, highfalutin is what i hear like very ugh, upper echelon because there is a necessity of understanding the power that is you understand because you can be begin to maneuver differently if you understand you have access and power and ability to do so mm-hmm you would move different if you are dehydrated and need water and you have to beg, barter, and plead or find someone, even if you have the means to purchase, you have to find someone who uh, is supplying it. So either way, you're still at the beck and call of someone else. Spirit said, I'm dousing you because I trust who you are. You you are Lotus after all. I am speaking to those Grove folks. And if you've been here a minute, you already know what it's hitting for, yeah? So those that are in your, 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 your Grove space, you already understand this. You've made room. You see the beauty in the Grove experience. Spirit is saying, I am dousing you now. Love is saying, I am, I am authorizing the same power and honor in which I carry for you to understand and uprise inside of you so you can begin to maneuver a thing you are creator after all. Meaning the same way you can pick up them colored pencils and create something of beauty or a paintbrush or an instrument or a pencil or whatever your gifting may be. The same way you can just innately pick up and begin to do that. No practice. No formal skill training, just 
the anointing, the gifting. I woke up and this is what I could naturally do. Mm -hmm. Spirit say, I am honoring you in such a power because I want you to understand that that same creator in you is the same creator in you. Meaning the same way you can do it on that canvas is the same way you can do it in the canvas of life. Wake up, somebody. Wake us up, right, spirit. <laughs> Talk to us nice. And you know the number for the butterfly card is 36, which is 9. Didn't I say the 6? And Mr. James Baldwin said, let me show you for real. Even after you transform, see the beauty and the balance, you've got the 9. One in the same, it's a shift of the perspective, the of the end of this thing. Never said you were in the wrong space. Remember, they said turn around, looking through the wrong camera, wrong crowd. Yours is right here. Something, somebody, life, whatever it may be, wanted you to be facing that way so it would look like it was dead city. Rock bottom, not worth it, ain't come to cheer you on. Stop, don't go, no further, this is it. Grumble. Huh? <laughs> uh. Not it. Not it. <laughs> you know what I can hear in my head is so funny. I could see kids right now, but it's like grown ass kids because whoever and whatever that energy is, it's real like, you know, it would have to be low, negative, right? It's real childish. Like it's like duck, 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 goose. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Didn't quite get to make it back to your seat. <laughs> whoever, <laughs> whoever they are. Okay, wait a minute. Stop it. Because my shadow coming alive. Because people be playing. <laughs> people be playing too damn much. You understand? Energies be playing too damn much to check the seat. Yeah? Spirit says somebody have been through enough. Somebody was testing to see or you are who you say you are. Indeed. Indeed. Mm-hmm. And Spirit say this go around. Oh, 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 oh. Can't afford to be trying to ask that no more. Mm-hmm. That same duck, 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 duck goose game. Yeah. Uh-huh. Tap. Them fucked around and found out for real. Uh-huh. Say spirit. Say spirit. Mm -hmm. Real talk. What we got? Menopause. Uh-huh. The number six. Yeah. Uh-huh. See? The cycles. The cycles. That's 42. Hold tight. Let me see what this is. 42. Because this is a changing from one, one thing into another, right? Don't be afraid to sing. We talked about come home to yourself. We know that menopause is about the body reverting back to a place in which it had been the process of it doing that. Yeah. Um, rediscovering of self. It says, just as your entrance into the bleeding years is a profound and sacred time, so is this transition out of the menstrual era. The experience of perimenopause and menopause presents an opportunity to rediscover yourself and your place within the universe. Didn't it say the escape is coming home to yourself? This is the menopause moment. This is the moment where I go from this space to what was created of me through life and all these different experiences to now I am in a cycle where spirit says, hello, sorry for lack of introduction, but you are here with the rebirthing for a reason. The very mission and mantle upon my life be to breathe life for real into the frequencies and the atmosphere somebody even... When it's seemingly only one way, one platform, when knowing that these frequencies work far outside of just this space or even this chapter of our, my existence, yeah? That this is the rebirthing, uh-huh, because that's the mantle here, to help you to remember who you are in your divine authentic self. If you're around me and the authenticity of yourself isn't being born, there is something lacking about my understanding and my depth of the mission and what I'm here for. I'm doing less than what I was meant to wake up for. Self-care today with all these decks that are out here. A lot of feminine energy, yeah? A time where things are 
are reverting. Things are changing, right? You're thinking of different milestones, uh, made or not made in that menopausal kind of state, that, that space where what I've grown to know to be myself and my comfort is now going back to what once was me, but so far long ago, I can't relate to it. That is your spirit beckoning unto you in this moment. Come through. Come through, spirit. Where are we at? 20 minutes. I want to let it go because it's 20 minutes, but I can't disregard the two decks that came out So uh, to speak. So we did the princess card. So we're going to end with the African god. Honey, st let's end with an African goddess card. Seven. Asaseya, Asaseya, Asaseya. And again, we got cycle of the moon, just like the menopause card on here. Okay, we got the cycles of the moon. We talked about the depths and the phases of the moon with the, with the core card today. But even here, ending with the African goddess deck, we got, we got Mother Earth. And we got all this water and the newness of life coming through here. This is joy. Oh, my God. Asaseya here, okay? Somebody make that something for you to say today. Asaseya. It, it is joy. It is the joy card. It is seven. So when spirit started us out with seven, we literally ending in seven. Spaceship elevating into a space where you were divinely supposed to be in the first place. This is what I nurtured and created you for. And these are the things that you are now able to create and cultivate because I created a creator out of you. You are the very essence. That's why we love. You don't have to just give it. You can be in a process uh, of your journey where you become the essence of the life of love and joy. I'm more than a giver of it. I'm I'm a reservoir. I'm essence of it, the very being. W when I'm the essence of a thing, I can't give and offer anything but what is me. Yeah. You're talking about honing a gift. Spirit say you're the great escapist. Hone the gift of coming home to yourself always. Somebody. We'll really end it there. That's joy. Somebody, seven, didn't spirit say shifting the completion of one thing into into where, where it innately, divinely should be? That means going into the what? Asaseya, energy, African goddess, the joy, somebody. What's been cultivated? What, what, what are you into? What, what are you walking into? What should you be sitting in? Spirit said, joy, you've elevated there. Spirit is still speaking to us just like the last reading. You're just receiving this. So take it in. Breathe it in. One love to each and every one of you. If you are new here, um, welcome. I hope you feel doused in the love. Uh, I, I will Let me retract that. How about I know you feel doused in the love because love come to fill the atmosphere in the room and it ain't nothing you could do about it. That's what I love about it. It's gangsta for real. It's like once I show up, I am love. I alter everything in the atmosphere, everything about the atmosphere, even if those and experiences in it act accordingly upon what they're comfortable doing so it don't look like love to shift at the room. You can't hide inside yourself from what has occurred. You can try to hide it from others for a while. Uh-huh. Other entities and energies can 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 put delusion and illusion upon it. So you might not be able to see if you're not looking with your lookers beyond here. Mm -hmm. But love grand power. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing supersede that. That's the goal. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm ready to go. Energy getting real heavy because love is really getting... I mean, there is the lightness therein of love, yeah. But I'm talking warrior of love. Y'all know spirit and already put us on to it, yeah? If not, go back, please. Not for the sake of the view, for the sake of your soul. For the sake of the knowledge and pool of 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 of, of goodness that spirit has been given unto us so we can be prepared. So, so we can be in receiving mode, 
so that we can be in healed frame of mind and mentality, one of empathy and love and one of wisdom and groundedness, somebody. Thank you. Those of you that are true to this and not new to this, whether it's on your journey or here with me, all right, y'all know we on to a thing. We doing a thing, <laughs> okay? Uh, I am doing a special throughout the weekend, readings with a um, specified crystal towards uh, whatever it is that comes out in your reading, um, consecrated, of course, uh, me, myself, in ritual because there's big shiftings and cycles um, that are, are, are running into what Spirit is speaking about now with this joy and, and walking into different uh, elevated areas. And so I'm offering that. Uh, that's $55 special just for this weekend. And then I'm going to rest my energy. Uh, okay. Uh, but I am going to do that this weekend. Um, just straight 55. You get the full reading like you normally would. 40, 45 minutes. Whatever it is that comes out. Um, and then uh, we, we discuss that. And then um, get guidance as to the crystal that would go to you. And then um, I'll mail that out. Um, to you with a special message from spirit. That's what I feel like doing. Um, that's what I feel led to do. So um, we're doing that just for this weekend. So um, even if you scheduled it for another time during the week, you would have to have it um, in so that I can have you in, in the spiritual pot, if you will, um, of the collective of um, souls and beings that spirit would be speaking on behalf of, okay? Um, hopefully that makes sense. But for me to do my work, that, that's how I have to do it. So um, that's that on that. The information for all that is in the description box. Um, so um, just take your pause today, guys. I hear spirits say, okay? Um, so that you can be reminded of your power and your stance out here uh, in these spiritual streets as well as your natural, tangible life, uh, because so it is in the natural, it is in the spirit, that shit is real life, okay? Uh, you can believe it's just the hype of somebody saying it if you want, but if you're looking in any kind of facet in your life, you see that shit real true, okay? So that's that. Y'all remember to be loving, guided by all things pure, true, and love, and all things great and grand to be beckoning unto you. It's been real sugar, ashes, rebirth. Peace out. Remember to love yourself today, y'all. I'll to the ancestors. <laughs>